Hey guys, welcome to my video today. Today I wanna to talk a little bit about customer gratitude, <laughs> a bad situation, gone okay, or maybe even gone good in a weird way. I sell ceramic mugs. Mugs are breakable items. And even though my mug partners ship them with care, a very small percentage of the time, a customer will receive a broken mug. It's gonna happen and it's just a fact of life. But have I ever received a five-star review from a customer who received a broken mug? I can't say for sure that I haven't because I haven't taken notes for the past eight years or so. But I don't think I have until now. So my customer ordered a mug. She received a broken mug. Here's the message as I received it. Arrived broken. Please issue refund. Item wasn't packed in a way to prevent breakage. Very disappointed. Sad face. Now, usually when a customer receives a broken mug, usually they send me photos of the break. And then in the message, it's more along the lines of how can you fix this or something along those lines. So a little bit open-ended. But this time the customer stated outright that she wanted a refund. So there was nothing more to offer her. I immediately solved the problem for her in the way that she stated that she wanted to have the problem solved. I refunded her purchase and I sent her this message. Hi, name. I'm so sorry to see that your mug arrived broken. You have requested a refund, which has been issued to you. Your refund will appear in your account on a variable time frame, depending on how you pay. Here's more information. And then there's a link to the page on Etsy that lets people know when they can expect a refund. My mug partners are always striving to use the least amount of packaging while also keeping the mug safe from harm. I love the innovation and that they take environmental responsibility to heart, but clearly the packaging has failed this time and I am so sorry to have disappointed you. Thank you for shopping with me. When I received this message, I had actually just been locked out of my Etsy account on my browser that I usually use. I thought I had gotten hacked or was in the middle of being hacked at the time. So I was kind of in the middle of a crisis and I had to address it immediately, write out the message and send it so I could get back to the business at hand. In hindsight, that was probably a good time for me to send the message because I was more quick and to the point, decisive. I had sent pretty quickly. Now I kept this message pretty much to the point and I didn't end the message with flowery language or anything. It was genuine, honest, and just like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish I could have done better. I knew she was kind of mad about the broken mug and I knew she was happy to get the quick refund and the quick response. And I was happy she was happy. And so she immediately replied with, thank you, exclamation point. And then after I was able to correct the situation with the browser, which thankfully I was able to pretty quickly, I replied then with, you are so welcome. Again, my apologies. I always aim to please and I am so, so sorry your mug arrived shattered. It stinks to get a broken mug. That's just me talking to you right now, <laughs> not the letter. Anyway, back to the letter. I hope you'll come back again sometime and give me another try. Enjoy the rest of your week. When I wrote this reply, I had a little breathing room because I had solved my crisis at the time and I felt confident with it. Given the problem being solved, the tone of the last messages that we had had, and the time that had elapsed. Two days later, a five-star review and an amazing comment from my customer. Great customer service, quick response time. I was thrilled to see that, and I have to say I was a little surprised, but I'm not gonna question things. <laughs> I'm just gonna count my blessings. When something goes awry from the get-go and then they're actually turned around, it's kind of a cool thing to see. And it's great to see a customer leaving a nice review, even though she got a broken mug. It's a great illustration of the fact that the stuff that we don't like is gonna happen sometimes with our orders when they're out of our hands. Sometimes we just have to let go and understand that we can't control everything, but what we can control is in the way that we handle things. Obviously, this is not always gonna be the outcome when somebody receives a broken piece of merchandise and they're really upset about it. But I look at the outcome of this situation and it makes me feel proud of the way that I handled the situation that came up. I left the customer feeling good, even though the situation 
stinks. I hope that this video inspires you in some way when something out of your hands goes wrong, how you can sort of turn the situation around or at least attempt to. There's been plenty of times that I have really attempted to turn a situation around. Under the circumstances, I did a pretty good job, even if the customer in the end wasn't happy happy about it. At least they know that I gave it my best shot to try. And I think that matters. I think it makes a difference. And I think that in cases like this, and just in general, when your customer knows that you care and that there's a person behind your shop, they're definitely more likely to shop with you again over another shop where maybe the communication is not as good or is not there <laughs> whereas yours is there if you like this content please hit the like button it makes a very big difference to me and my channel and it also makes a difference to other people watching youtube and looking for a video like this if you like my content please do subscribe to my channel where you'll find much more content like this for multi-passionate independent artists i talk a lot about etsy print on demand and more thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye